They're here, ladies and gentlemen. Rock royalty has come to call. Brian May, <laughs> Roger Taylor. Uh, you're so welcome to the show. Ta-da. Thank you, Graham. Oh, We're very uh, happy to be here. Uh, well, I'm honestly I'm thrilled to see you both. Oh, it's, thanks. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, now, Roger, forgive yes, me. Yes. Forgive me. Uh, I know we're here to talk about your new CD, uh, all the Queen hits together in a big compilation. But before we do you that... Mean absolute greatest. Absolute uh, greatest hits. Absolute. And many to choose from. Quag. Um, we call it quag. <laughs> but before, before we do that, uh, Brian May, I love a man with a hobby. And uh, you've got a book out. You've got my owl in your hand. I do. It's it's called A Village Lost and Found. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Have you Thank seen you, this, Roger? I you have. Mo- it's a great piece of work, actually. Yeah, but, I but, gave the first one to Rod, of course. All right. So now, uh, very quickly, Brian, they're called stereoscopic. Is that right? Stereo- stereoscopic photographs. Yes, it's 3D. It's, it became 3D in the 50s, in the 1950s, but it was invented in the 1850s, which is what this book is about. And it's a collection of these postcards that were printed at the time Stereo views, yes, and they were huge in their day. They were an incredibly huge craze um, for obvious reasons. It was a window on the world before television or films or anything, you know, and people could see the pyramids or Africa or whatever through their stereoscope. And it was incredibly real, so that's what I'm recapturing. It's a particular series that, that this Yes, this is, is all one village, is it? All about an English village, yeah, and its life and its people. And, and did you find this collection of postcards somewhere, or...? I'm still finding them. I'm, I've been looking for them over the last 30 years. It was almost lost to the world, this series of 59 photographs of, uh, of an English village called Hinton Waldrest in Oxfordshire. And the viewer, the, the thing you look at them through, you have, you've invented a I new did. form of... I had to design a new viewer because there wasn't one which would really work, so that this is really designed f- straight from the 1850s and it focuses but it also folds flat in your book so yes, it's a marvel it does. of modern and, science and it can't be hard to assemble because i did it you did i'm very impressed i did it and in fact I, i've loved the book honestly they've been shouting at me all afternoon because they've been trying to get me oh. to do things like you know timings to the news oh, and well, i've been I've looking at by the man by the well <laughs> and little polly asleep so uh, i'll put yes, it i'll put it's it another world no it's fantastic into. but listen all things queen all things queen um, I, I was saying earlier uh, the best-selling album of all time over mm. the last 50 years which is all time and the best-selling single of all time that's some achievement I mean that must that must make you feel good well it, it was extraordinary when we uh, found out it sold more than um, Sergeant Pepper which when I was a kid uh, seemed to be number one for years I mean probably wasn't years but um, yeah we were amazed and very pleased and it didn't just outsell it, it really outsold it. Five million, uh, six hundred and seventy-eight thousand six hundred ten. Whereas the, uh, the Beatles, I'm here to tell you, four million nine hundred eight. Yeah. So that's... That's just in Devon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's great is, I suppose, that record will stand now because of what's happened to record sales. Apart from the absolute greatest hits, obviously, that will no, outsell it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say absolute greatest hits? No, I d- did I say absolute greatest <laughs> Oh, that is what it's called, yes, absolute greatest. <laughs> strip it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's 20, 20 of your, your greatest songs on here. Yeah, it's a distillation, really. We, we had sort of three greatest hits, one, two, and three. And it's really a, a distillation of the sort of 20, that's as many as we could get on one disc. Um, of, from those three, really, uh, we, we sort of perceived to be subjectively the most popular songs. Yeah. Because w- what's amazing about Queen is that, you know, because obviously all, all the music's been done, it's there, it's a back catalogue, mm. and yet somehow it lives on. It, it's constantly kind of finding a new audience. It does, and, um, you know, although we, along with other people, might have misgivings about X Factor or whatever, you know, the fact that it lives through young people is great for us, yeah, and also through our own We Were Rock You shows. Mm. Yeah, now, t- talk to me about the, the musicals. Is it true you're writing a sequel? It's written. Ben has written the sequel, yes, and um, all we need is a theatre to put it in, really, and, and some kind of agreement amongst ourselves. I can hear ourselves. the groans from the Daily Telegraph as we speak. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> they can't moan now. You just mean... Oh, I think they, 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 they can't try. But, they, but you can't argue with the success <laughs> that show had. It's been seen by over 10 million people. Yeah. It's incredible. It's amazing. And Freddie's still up there in his, in his goldness in, the, in Tottenham Court <laughs> Road, which is great, and it's a big finger up to the world. Yeah, because, you know, and it's... Cause it's Constantly. No, because it's, it's all on everywhere. It's, 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 is it still on in Vegas, or is it...? No, 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 no. But it's, it's just starting, opening in Milan. It's on in uh, Edinburgh, just opened in Edinburgh. And Holland and to, next year. And Holland and mm. uh, Germany. And are you very hands-on with it, or did you just go, oh, thank you very much, no, 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 I'll take this check to the bank now? <laughs> <laughs> no, that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> with a security guard. <laughs> yeah, no, we're very hands-on. We still audition all the cast members and all the band, and we take part. There's a whole sort of uh, framework in place, but we very much um, uncle it, don't we? We sort of yeah, we do, it. especially with the bands. You know, we like to, to make sure that the bands are all top players, and and they're not sort of like. You know, musical theatre bands that they don't—they're not reading the, the paper while they're while they're playing the score. Because no, I've <laughs> you know, seen they're, yeah. they're rock bands and they're very good players. They're fantastic, fantastic players. I've, yeah. I've seen them a few times over the years, and it doesn't get tired oh, at all. The, en the seen, energy yeah. in that place—it yeah. always makes you smile, doesn't yeah. it? Which is why people come back. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. you can tell people do yeah. go back and back and back. Again. They, do. they take their mates. It's good night out and stuff. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, more with Brian May and Roger Taylor, but now we're going to play one of the absolute greats, and we've chosen uh, Killer Queen. Mm -hmm. Here it is. She keeps them away, Shonda, in a pretty cabinet. Anthony Cage, she says, just like Maria. Oh, Killer Queen, Queen, and I'm joined by Brian May and Roger Taylor. Um, uh, uh, when you li what does that feel like? I mean, I know it's quite a ridiculous question, but just listening to that song, do you have any memory of recording it? Do you have, does, Very does that much, yeah. I, m I remember we did those harmonies again and again because uh, actually Brian didn't think they were right. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I was in niggle, hospital niggle. And, when yeah. you guys <laughs> pressed on with it and I just thought it was a wonderful track, but I thought the harmonies were very harsh and so mm. we did them all uh, again. Yeah, we, we were very perfectionistic, you know, if that's the right word. You know. And, and while that was playing, we obviously, I was listening, but still chatting. <laughs> uh, I'm just talking about your range of songs because, mm. you know, you, you normally a group, they have a sound and everything. But what, it was interesting watching X Factor over the weekend, just how varied the songs can be and all the different ways you can approach them. Mm. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, the, the four of us wrote, of course. It wasn't just one person writing. And that's quite rare in a group to have everybody write. Yes, yeah, someone, someone told me recently that uh, you're one of the only, the only band in the world that uh, all four people wrote uh, number one. Uh, Did somebody uh, tell you that? Yeah, yeah I heard yeah. that, yeah. Me, uh, so I don't know where I picked that up, but uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I'll remember that in my deathbed and I'll be quite annoyed. <laughs> yeah. I never learned yeah. Spanish, but I know that. That would be wasting time <laughs> in your deathbed. <laughs> hey, listen, seriously, what did, I mean, uh, I, what did you think of The X Factor? Because it's a mad circus oh, to get involved it's, in. It's an entertainment, you know. It, 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 it's a massive money-generating machine, I suppose, but... It's fun. It's it's not a lot to do with music, but it's um, it's it, it's an entertainment. It's a TV show. Yes, yeah. I like your I like the little interviews you gave after the people. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, oh, yeah. you didn't have a lot to say after some of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, well, they they clipped it right down. I mean, yeah, we spent yeah. a long time with those guys, actually. We oh, did were in you? there for about three yeah. hours, and we, we spent a long time coaching. They just give tiny little snippets on the on the programme. Yeah, it's, it's a very, shame, really. Cause very it edited. It made yeah. it look very superficial. No, we, we got on very well with them all, and we offered them quite a bit. You are only speechless a couple of times. No. <laughs> we can it's only a, guess it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, every, I think everybody has reservations about the whole X Factor and, uh, you know, American Idol and whatever thing, you know, because of what it does to the rest of the business. It does kind of strangle out anyone who's not in that system and so in, in a sense it's unhealthy but, you know live music is, has never been more popular um, the, the, look at the festivals and everything so that there is a whole other side there's always been the Donnie and Marie's and then there's always been the Led Zeppelin's you know uh, coexisting and I suppose and, the thing about re record sales dipping means that to make money you've got to get back on the road so live music is is benefiting in a actually way. also true. The net uh, is also, you know, the downloads are big now, you know, there are a lot of downloads now. Mm. It's coming, you know. Yeah, music is very alive and very much in people's mm. lives. And, of course, you have instant access to any kind of music. Most people have, like, three devices on their body that they can access the Internet on, it seems, these days, and hear whatever piece of music they want. So you can hardly say music is suffering. <laughs> but I think mu young musicians are suffering because they can't get paid for making recordings. So I don't know quite how you build a career as a new artist now. Well, on you the other hand, it's cheaper to make recordings. Now you can do them in your bedroom. You know. mm. It's yin and yang, I think we're saying, ladies and gentlemen. It's a change, you know. Yes. We all have to adapt, yeah. and if we uh, adapt properly, we will survive, and things will be fine. So, yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for coming in to see us. Uh, My pleasure. Brian May and Roger Taylor. This is great. Uh, now, what do I have to tell you? I have you to tell you... this for that a living. This, I so shouldn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the CD, Queen Absolute Greatest, is released today. In the shops today. Very day. Sadly, I won't be buying it because you foolishly gave me two free copies. <laughs> so I've got them. And uh, the book, the book, which I, again, I, can I keep that? Is that mine? Please, this is yours. Is that yes. mine? Yes. 
I'm loving it. Uh, a village lost and found, scenes in our village by T.R. Williams, an annotated tour of the celebrated 1850 stereo card series by Brian May and Elena Vidal, published in hardback by Francis Lincoln, is in the shops now, and it's gorgeous. Gentlemen, it's been an honour and a pleasure. Thank you Thank very you much. Here's the noisettes. Never forget you.